Hey y'all, it's your girl, a lady pelvic with pelvic gaming, and we are here to talk about March 20th, 2019, Nintendies. Nintendo dropped a bomb on us. So I could go ahead and talk about the entire direct, but I'm gonna be honest with you, there are very little games that really capture my attention. A lot of this video would just be like, oh, it looks fine, but doesn't capture my attention. It looks fine, but eh, it, you know, I just want to talk about what I'm passionate about. So first, Cuphead. Obviously great, amazing, I'm super excited. You guys know I'm not a PC gamer and then I've never owned an Xbox in my life. So Cuphead was kinda off the table for me, but now it's coming to the Switch, so that's great. But what we really wanna talk about is Cadence of Hyrule. This was about as shocking as the Joker reveal for Smash. No leaks, no one had any idea, nobody saw it coming, pun intended. And I appreciate that so much, because being online, the rumors, the leaks, people predicting stuff, and it's like, ah, then they're usually right, sometimes, who knows, but like, no one called this. And it was just a nice, refreshing, and welcomed surprise. Cadence of Hyrule is a very unique crossover of popular indie rhythm game Crypt of the Necrodancer and, of course, The Legend of Zelda. So I've played Crypt of the Necrodancer on my Let's Play channel, you should definitely check it out, you know, kind of get a groove as to what's to come. And of course, Legend of Zelda is one of my favorite video game series of all time. Note, I've never played Crypt of the Necrodancer Amplified, which is the DLC. For Cadence of Hyrule, I just want to talk about what I've noticed, differences, additions, what we can expect, and just spread the hype about this game. I have so much hype to give. So first, let's talk Crypt of the Necro Dancer, developed by Brace Yourself Games. This is important to note because they are also the devs of Cadence of Hyrule. This is crazy. Nintendo is not just letting a third party dev such as Capcom take control of their legendary IPs. They're letting an indie dev team take the reign a team less than two dozen people. And fun fact, according to Nintendolife.com, Cadence of Hyrule features the work of two Sonic Mania artists. That's how you know this work is gonna be great if you're not already sold. I'm seriously floored that Nintendo is allowing an indie developer to take over. That alone, several years ago, was unthinkable. And 2019, here we are. IGN recently released an article asking the developers how this even came to be. And originally the developers wanted Zelda to be DLC, but then Nintendo just loved the idea so much it turned into an actual game, which I think is phenomenal. So, if you're unfamiliar with Crypt of the Necro Dancer, it is a rhythm game with rogue elements. You are Cadence on a quest to find the famous treasure hunter, but her heart has been stolen from her by the Necro Dancer. You must move to the beat, attack to the beat, and conquer to the beat. Items are randomly generated, different weapons do different things like attack one enemy at a time or multiple enemies. They can hit at a distance or close up, music changes with each level, items to make the beat go faster or slower, shops, traps, things that can be easily implemented into a Zelda type. So the first thing you'll notice with the Zelda glow up is holy shit the graphics. Even with Cadence, it's the traditional Game Boy Advance graphics, baby. They look so crisp and clean. I mean, look at Cadence in the original. It's insane how bouncy her hair is, how quick and sharp her attacks are, like hot huh, damn. And then Link and Zelda waltz in, looking fine as fuck. Look at the shading in their outfits, their hair, how badass Link looks firing away or using a spin attack. Or how Zelda looks when casting a spell. I see old items are making a comeback, different types of shovels, arrows, and boots. And still talking on looks, let's talk about the actual art, aside from pixels. The art looks bouncy, fun, colorful, um, just really shows what this game is. Versus the original art of Crypt of the Necro Dancer looks gritty and dark and kinda edgy. A very stark contrast between the two. Both look great in their own right, but I'm really glad they switched up the art style for this title. I am so happy that they have Link and Zelda, and I bet they will have different playstyles, much like the original game. So in Necro Dancer, after unlocking certain requirements, you get additional characters with a new set of rules, restrictions, and starting items. An example is the monk. He took a vow of poverty, meaning he cannot pick up gold, and if he does, he instantly dies. Enemies that normally don't drop gold now drop one gold. Or Dove, who uses a flower as a weapon that does no damage but confuses enemies for eight beats. Attempting to replace this weapon with a harmful one results in her death. 
and she must find the exit, or if the song ends, she instantly dies. So I'm hoping that other Zelda characters are added with their own unique challenges. I'm gonna guess Ganon, perhaps Impa, maybe one of each of the main races, a Deku, Zora, and Goron. And I'd be hella impressed if they gave us like specific B-tier characters like Vadi, Garahim, Linebeck, even Phantom Zelda. I mean, the sky's the limit here, and I'm happy either way. Continuing on to the looks, the enemies look fantastic. How what to appear to be Choo Choo Split or rolling a boulder into an enemy was a great touch for using your environment. Love the puff of skull-shaped smoke coming out from baddies. I love how they're all grooving to the beat, just like in Crypt. And enemies move a certain way. I see Wolfos can move diagonally, or Skullfos on horses look like they can move twice as fast as those without horses. Notice enemies drop rupees instead of gold. Very nice attention to detail. And wait a minute, are the Gossip Stones jukeboxes? Incredible. We see a lot of traditional Zelda enemies here. We got the Pose and the Wolfos, which I really want to appreciate the true to form here with the glowing eyes, sharp fangs, dark fur. In the desert, we could spot a Tektite, very true to the ones in Ocarina of Time. Colorful, bright red, yellow, and green with a single eye. This looks like a Dark Nut from Wind Waker. We got a horned helmet, heavy armor, giant sword. In this frame, we got a lot going on. Scalfos, Beemos, Moblins, Like Likes are back. Oh man. Like likes her back. Moblins, choo choos, and oh, fuck, is that a whiz robe? It is a motherfucking whiz robe. In this frame, we see a ball and chain trooper, a sword trooper from Link to the Past. And I'm sorry, is that a bloody Lionel? They really went in, and I just cannot imagine what they're holding back from us. They brought back so many Legend of Zelda enemies, and this is only like a minute trailer, guys. Imagine what we haven't seen yet. Also, let's jump into the bosses. We have Gleok is back with all four heads from the original Legend of Zelda and Armos Knights from Link to the Past, which are briefly shown rocking with a guitar in hand. I am just so excited, overwhelmed really. So next we're gonna talk about the music, kind of keeping the same format as my reviews, is it's gonna be nothing short of amazing. I remember watching the trailer and they started to play the first few notes of Zelda and I was like, huh, this sounds an awful like like Zelda. Ah! You know, they had like the big reveal and I like lost it. Let me tell you, I'm not a reaction channel. I normally don't have like big, loud, over the top reactions, but this got me. Crypt of the Necro Dancer has excellent electronic music composed by Danny Bararowski. I tried to say that right, apologies. But he's coming back for Cadence of Hyrule. He'll do just fine by Zelda's side, especially after this little taste. And this time, I have help! One thing I am excited is the return of Freddy Merchantry, also known as the Shopkeeper. In Crypt, when you near him, you can hear his deep voice that perfectly complements the music. And we got a little peek of that in Cadence of Hyrule. At least this guy is familiar. I know that was quick, but I'm very happy that they kept that little twist. Although I am sad for the missed Beetle reference. But who knows? Maybe. Only 50 second trailer, y'all. A few things I did notice that they haven't shown is the disco floor. In Crypt, it meant a coin multiplier the more enemies you killed. Although they did give a warning that the visual effects may induce seizures, so maybe this time they decided to cut it all out? But I also thought it was a very cleverly placed tool to show distance between you and the enemy. I'm also curious how well the exploration will be. Part of the joy of Crypt was digging around until you found the next room. In Cadence, there are a lot of outdoorsy areas. And that about sums up my thoughts on Cadence of Hyrule. I really, really, really recommend you try out Crypt of the Necrodancer. It's available everywhere. PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One on Android and iOS. Um, check it out, play it. It definitely has a learning curve. It will also determine if you'll enjoy this game as it is more or less the same thing, but with a Zelda skin. Cadence of Hyrule, however, is a Nintendo Switch exclusive and is coming out this spring. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I had so much to say, so much passion to give, and I just really hope you got something out of it. I would absolutely adore to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. What you thinking? Are you hyped for this game? Do you not care? Are you not a rhythm-based gamer? And I want to know what Legend of Zelda songs are you hoping to hear? I better hear Song of Storms. I better hear Mulgara's theme from Wind Waker. That is just such a classic. Oh my god. And also, if you got a Zora's Domain theme, oh my god, I would cry tears of joy. Can't wait to chat with you guys more in the comments. Mwah! Thank you so much for watching Top Box for more thoughts on hot topics in the bottom box is my Let's Play channel with Crypt of the Necro Dancer. You should watch. And of course, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Hit ha! That means I love you in Zelda. <laughs> Bye.